Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Surround Send, where I teach you to elevate your surroundings to a sanctuary through the magic of fragrance, using candles, colognes, and car scents. Now today I'm bringing you a fra fragrance vid. This is gonna be my top five most underrated summer fragrances. And these are gonna be summer fragrances, well, really cool weather fragrances that can also work in the warm weather. You can go easy on them and you're still getting that fresh, sweet, you know, kind of ambery, rich vibe from them, but it's not too cloying and too sweet in the high heat. These ones are very versatile and they can work in the cool weather as warm as the warm weather. So without further ado, let's jump right into this list with Salvatore Ferragamo Womo. And Salvatore Ferragamo Womo is going to be an ambery scent, but it's going to be very fresh, very spicy. I really dig this one because it's sweet, has that Tonka vibe going for it, some aromatics in there. But this one is a uh, great little fresh, sweet, you know, pick me up in the uh, uh, the high heat. You know, it can work in the high heat as well as the uh, rainy days on the summer. Very good for rainy days, cool weather in the summer. But check this one out, Salvatore Ferragamo Womo. Next, we move on to YSL, La Homme Le Parfum. And the La Homme Le Parfum, as you can see, is gonna be the blue fragrance iteration of the classic OG La Homme YSL. But this one is giving you a brighter, citrusy, open opening, but it also takes the vibes from YSL Y uh, Eau de Parfum. It gives me those vibes with the uh, the sweetness on the dry down, the creaminess. It's like a, a tonka patchouli, you know, real sweetness, giving it some presence in the, uh, the warm weather as well as the cool weather. You're getting that bright opening up top, up top for the summer months. But then, you know, for the cool summer days or the rainy summer days, definitely getting that, that sweet, you know, creamy, rich, dry down. And that's what makes this fragrance so versatile. And it's a banger for the summer. From one YSL to another. Now this is certainly one that is uh, marketed as a cool weather fragrance. This is gonna be La Nuit de la Home Le Intense. And it's super, super powdery, super, super vanillic. Has some iris in there. So you're getting that dark floral with the citrus and the aromatics. It's a super ambery fragrance. But see, my thing is, I didn't really like it in the cool weather. It really uh, shines for me in the warm weather. The warm weather really brings out uh, the notes, the citruses, and especially the vanillic uh, nature of the fragrance. You really, really get that in the warm weather, uh, at least on my skin, my DNA. So I definitely reach for this one in the warm weather, even though it's a cool weather fragrance. That's going to be La Nuit de la Home, Le Intense. And now we move on to Dolce & Gabbana, The One. And Dolce & Gabbana, The One, as you know, perfect for date night. It's gonna be a tobacco, sweet, spicy fragrance. It's got some uh, grapefruit in there, some aromatics. Not too cloying and not too heavy though. It's not too dark and rich, even though it is ambery, you know, spicy. It's more of a, a fresh one with the uh, eau, de, eau de toilette at least. Once you get into the uh, the eau de perfumes and the perfume iterations, you know, they do get a bit darker, richer, sweeter, more suited for the cool weather. But this one is a banger for the summer. And that brings us to our last fragrance. We have Mont Blanc Legend Red. And Mont Blanc Legend Red, as you can see, red fragrance like the Polo Red is gonna be spicy, it's gonna be aromatic, but this one uh, gives you that cooling effect with the juniper for me. It's getting that fruity, berry cooling sensation with the juniper, it's kind of resinous. You're also uh, getting some blood orange in this one as well as some grapefruit, so it's a unique fragrance, it's gonna stand out. And it's really uh, aromatic going down to some fresh woods. You have some uh, Atlas cedar in there and some regular cedar. So you're getting that fresh woody nature in there. It's not too uh, dark, rich and cloying, but it still definitely holds its own on the uh, rainy summer days, cooler summer days. But you can throw this on in the high heat. You will not be disappointed. And that's Mont Blanc Legend Red. That's going to be my list of fragrances mostly ambery but you know my list of uh cooler weather fragrances that will really surprise you in the high heat in the summertime you can rock these ones pretty much year round i'm jay will if you like the content make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so when i drop it you got it i'll see you on the next one